Hi guys, my name is Gunnar James Cole and welcome to episode 3 of Kitty Powers Love Life. So in the last episode, I think April and Julia, they ran into a little bit of trouble. Like they started to reveal their bad habits to each other and it went a little bit wrong, I feel like, from what I can remember. But hopefully today we can, uh, I don't know, make them feel a bit more, I feel like they're not feeling, yeah, here, look, April could really do with some intimate time with my fiance. I'm feeling a bit unloved, but I'm not entirely sure how we give them intimate time, to be honest, so we need to figure that out. No one sent us, oh, actually, April has sent us a mess. oh no. Thought she'd send us a message, but we discussed, oh, she has got an ongoing problem. Okay, that's fine. Are they in work at the moment? I think, yeah, they're going to come back from work. And there we go. Oh, I'd like to go to the karaoke. We need to be building some other place. April. Got a problem. <laughs> Let's uh, give her some help. I can't think of anything I'd rather be doing than whispering sweet nothings here with you, honey. Mm. Babes, I've just got to ask. Did you basically leave the milk out on the side to go oh. rancid earlier? <laughs> um, I don't think so. Are you sure? I mean, I know it wasn't me, so... Oh, dilemma difficulty. Easy. Oh dear, it looks like April and Julia are having a lover's oh. tiff. Uh-oh. Try to get the cards in your hand as close to 21 as possible. Oh. If you go over, you'll lose. To ask for another card, press the hit button. To stick with your current cards, press the stay button. Okay, fingers crossed, hopefully. So, oh, we've got like the worst. We've got 15. That's like the worst number you can get in this game. Um, The dealer's got a three. I feel like we need to hit and just hope for the best. Let's hit. Oh, yes, okay, 18. We'll stay on 18. Oh, 19. It's nothing to do with me. It's literally nothing to do with me either. Uh-oh. One fail. How many fails? Oh, God, right. Okay, nine. Let's hit. Oh, 19. Let's stay. Oh, come on. We got mm. blackjack. I'm certain it wasn't me. I'm just as certain it wasn't me. We're not going to solve this, I don't think. Oh, we've got 13. We're going to have to hit. 18. That is not fantastic, but let's stay. Oh, Julia. Oh, What's wrong with you? I did not leave the milk out on the side of the rancid, okay? Ooh, you can be like so annoyingly stubborn sometimes. Unbelievable balls. Uh oh, that's not good. Whatever, this conversation is over. Uh oh. <laughs> oh dear, I really messed that up. I think I might be sleeping in the shed tonight. In the shed? That's a little bit harsh. I mean, like, okay, on the sofa, but in the shed? <laughs> That did not go well at all, trying to solve that problem. I feel like maybe they're going to split up, <laughs> April and um, Julia. Julia says, just been chowing on that classic Swedish dish. I, I'm not even going to try to attempt to say that. With my fiancé, April. It was totally delicious, Rooney. It'd be like super awesome if there was somewhere in East Paypool to study interior design. I had to leave the ironing for someone else. I feel awful about it. Uh-oh. That's not going to be good. Let's see. Have we got... I don't think we've got any... No, we haven't got enough money to buy anything else at the moment. Oh, Tuesday the 20th of February. Six days until inspection. We could do with another inspection. And so, to bring our money up, I think, really. <laughs> oh, oh, let's click that. Yeah, we go. 20 more coins. That's all good. We'll speed it along whilst they're sleeping and off in work. Because there's nothing really to do when they're not in the town. Oh. There we go. Another problem. Julia's cleaning out the oven. She needs our help. Hopefully this is a more positive outcome than the last one. Here we are, darling. Just me and you. I've just been eating tiny portions. Ooh. Yes, we're basically like an old married couple. Oh my God. What am I like going to talk about? Help me. Oh, the love eggs. I like the love eggs. Let's see what options we've got. Let's talk about... Mm, tradition. Do we know what they are? I feel like we don't know what they are with tradition. Babes, I was kind of wondering 
When it comes to clothes, do you wear the same outfit year in, year out, or buy a complete new wardrobe every year? Oh, that's such a great question. Let me think. I definitely have to say a new wardrobe. <gasps> OMG, that's literally what I'd say. That's good. It's great that we share a similar outlook, isn't it? Ooh, perfect. I know, right? I feel like so lucky to be with you. We're both lucky, honey. Anyway, I'm going to carry on eating tiny portions now. So the bars... One of them, I can't remember which one's April. <laughs> I'm so awful with their names. But the one on the left, she's right up at the top where I feel like they could get married. Is it married, maybe? They're engaged already, right? I can't even remember. <laughs> or are they married? I don't, oh, I don't even know. But she has got a problem, this one on the right. She's got a little exclamation mark there that says she's not happy about something. OMG, me and April are like such a good match, balls. Okay, so the other one is April, this one's Julia. I'm going to try and remember that. Oh, they're having a great time eating tiny portions. My cat's got no nose, did that say? My cat's got no nose, how does it smell? It can't smell, it's got no nose. <laughs> Oh, hey Greenoid, me and my fiancé April are getting on totally fabuloso. I think we're like ready to get married. What do you think? Can you help me through it? I don't want to mess it up. Well, I mean, Julia, you seem a lot more keen to me, I think, anyway, that Julia seems a lot more keen than April, but... Hi. I mean, let's give it a go, should we? Let's invite her. She's having a cuddle. We'll we'll leave. Let's replace the mooching around. Let's get her in tonight at 10 o'clock. More spicy action. Ooh. Okay, so let's see what we can do with this. I'm not entirely convinced that this is going to work, but we'll see. I totally need to talk to you about my relationship. Let's stick them in the hot seat. Hey, Greenard. Thanks for inviting me. What would you like to talk about? Uh, planning your wedding. Ooh. Yes, it's basically time for me and April to get married. We need to plan the ceremony. Are you ready to help? Yes, we are. Oh, let's totally start planning it right now. What would basically be the best place to have the ceremony? Um, I mean, a wellness centre seems a bit of a weird place to have it, to be honest. So I feel like we should stay at home. Sure, we've literally got to choose a one hour time slot for the ceremony now. Okay, right, uh, what about tomorrow? Is that like a bit soon maybe? Let's replace working, ooh, playing doctors and nurses. Yeah, replace doing the chores. Let's replace the chores with a, ma with a wedding. <laughs> That's basically it, OMG, I like totes excite. See you tomorrow is when I basically get married to April. Okay, so they are just gonna get married? I guess we just have to wait until tomorrow and hope that nothing goes wrong in the meantime. And then just kind of see what happens with them when, I suppose, they are already engaged. And so it's not like she's going to say no to the um, proposal, as it were. It's just their actual wedding day. What would you like to help with? Help Julia get married to April. Ooh, this is exciting. Our first wedding, or hopefully our first wedding. <laughs> I don't really know what's going to happen. I feel like one of them could leave the other one at the altar. Oh, babes, here we are. It's our big day. Yes, honey, I can hardly believe it's true. You keeping in contact makes me feel so lucky. That's a funny thing to say. I'm totally luckaroony too, babes. You being good in an emergency is one of the reasons I love you so much. Oh, they're so sweet. Oh, stop it, darling. You're making me blush. So, you didn't think it was worthwhile getting a makeover for your own wedding. See, how do we do these things? Like, she complains about what we're, what the other one's wearing. But I don't know how we actually get them changed or whatever. I'll have to look into that. She's not happy about that. <laughs> Ooh, I thinking a makeover would have been a good move. Anyway, I'm in a pretty good mood. Look at us, about to get married. Yes, we're totally getting married. It looks like it's going to go ahead. <laughs> Excuse me. Can I have everyone's attention, please? 
Why is there like this bowl of fruit? That's really random to have the bowl of fruit there, right? My name is Lucrezia Upgood, and as the town celebrant, I will be conducting the ceremony today. Let us begin. Dear friends, we are gathered here today to witness the marriage of Julia Bunlake and April Nutsole. Couldn't we have got married somewhere more interesting than our own home, Julia? Oh, oh, she didn't like that. Eric, maybe I should have booked a location in the village that April likes. Maybe we should have just gone to the wellness centre. Um, before the happy couple make their conjural vows, I must ask if there is anyone here who knows why Julia and April should not be joined in matrimony. Please speak now. Hopefully no one says anything. Uh, great. I always get a bit nervous at that bit. Anyway, on to the vows. Julia, I understand you've prepared your own special vows for April. You may recite them now. Totes, here I go. I, Julia Bunlake, do basically promise you April nuts all. Ugh, my notes have got totally mixed up. Help me out here. Okay, we've got a dilemma. It's easy difficulty. Uh-oh, Julia is going to need help saying the correct vowels. You've got a limited amount of time to memorise the position of the symbols before Julia will ask you where they are. Uh-oh. Okay, this is fine. We can do this. Julia wants to impress April, so try to remember as many as you can. Okay, remember the order. Okay, let's click. Okay, we have like nine seconds to try and remember. Okay, so we've got like a hand, a skull, an arm, money... Okay, I can remember that, I think. Uh, I need to find the death line. Um, this one? Oh, choose the note. Oh, yeah, okay, this one. Yes, success. Ah. To love you until death do us part. <laughs> Excellent. Um, next, I want to say the strength line. Uh, so that was this one. To stay strong for you through thick and thin. Mm. Okay, next I need the wealth line. Uh, oh, where was that? Bo oh, it's on mm. the bottom. I think it was this one. Yes! To love you for richer or for poorer. Okay, next I need the loyalty line. That was the first one, right? I'm pretty sure. Mm. Yes! To be faithful to you forever and ever. I have no real idea on the next two. I think it's going to be complete guesses. Okay, next I need the health line. Actually, I think that was last. Yes, I've got them all right. To lovingly care for you in sickness and in health. Thank you very much for those words, Julia. So eloquent. So, April, based on those vows, do you take Julia to be your lawful wedded wife? Uh-oh, could she say no? Uh-oh, they've got a problem penalty. <gasps> because they've got a problem in their... Oh, my goodness. So, actually, they could break up here. <sighs> I'm really nervous. Okay, let's give them a spin. We shouldn't do, because there's not many bad things there. Oh! <gasps> No! Oh, phew! Oh, that was close. I thought it was going to land on the orange there. I don't know what the orange is. Maybe that... Well, I'm assuming by the look of it, it's like a breakup. <laughs> yes, I do. And Julia, do you take April to be your lawful wedded wife? I literally do. In that case, it is my pleasure to pronounce you wife and wife. Congratulations. You may now give each other a big kiss. Aww. Oh. Our first wedding! Julia and April are now married. So they go into number three. I don't know like if they can get any further. Surely just being married is being married. They can't... I wonder if... No, I don't think they can have kids or anything. But, um... Oh, we've, we've progressed from a noob to a hanger-on. So that's good. And we had our first wedding. Congratulations, Greenard. You've reached level two. That's exciting, isn't it? Have 50 coins as a reward. You deserve it. Thanks, oh. Kitty. Oh, look at all those hearts. 
Oh, did that like grow mm. our kitty towers there? I think it's time to move another couple in. Oh, yes, I really want to have another couple. That should liven the place up. There, I've enhanced your residence permit. You can now have two couples in East Paypool at the same time. Yay. So the maximum maybe is six couples. Do people move out? I wonder if they do. Let's pick a promising pair from the black book and move them in right now. New couples appear in my black book every day when your village isn't full. Tap on the couples button to compare their information and decide if they're right for your village. If you don't like the look of anyone, you can try again the next day. Okay, so let's take a little look what we've got. So we could do with people who like a wellness centre. Glam people like the wellness centre. So these would be quite good. I think let's just check who else we've got oh is everybody glam actually I think everyone is glam because that's where we're advertising aren't they oh so I haven't really got any preference and I don't think why does it matter so they're all one star so I'm assuming they're, they're like the easiest ones um we don't know anything about any of them I don't think No, we don't know anything about any of them. Uh, so, should we go for... I feel like I like the look of this first couple. I like Bartholomew. He looks pretty cool. She's Look at her. She doesn't look like a chip shop worker, does she? She looks a bit glam. Being open and being well presented. Let's, let's build these two a house. I like these two. Bartholomew and Penelope. Oh, I was going to say, what does these uh, things mean? Early shift and late shift. Oh, so they maybe don't spend that... Hang on. I want people that are going to be able to spend time together. Oh. Day shift. Early shift. No one seems to be on. Oh, these two are on the same. Day shift, day shift. Oh, but I really like the other two. I suppose it doesn't really matter. He's a gardener and a janitor. Nathan oh. and... No, do you know what? I'm going to stick to Bartholomew and Penelope. And they'll just have to work harder at their relationship. Ooh. Let's build. Ooh, a low cost oh. cottage. We can build different types of houses. I didn't realise that. Let's build a low cost cottage. Oh. Choose an empty space. So we've got to go. Ah, so we can't build it there. Okay, we'll go here. Next door to uh, Julia and April. <laughs> Moving in, please wait. Mm. Oh, let's see what else you've unlocked. We've unlocked other things. New utility, recruitment center. A mm. recruitment center sounds very handy. I'm sure residents would like to be able to change their jobs if things aren't mm. working out. Go to the utilities page in the shop to build this special location in the village. That sounds cool, okay. Oh, Julia and April had such a lovely wedding. Soon they'll be ready to leave East Paypool and live happily ever after. Okay, so once they get married, that's kind of the goal. You get them married and then they move out. But before they leave, they'll want to reveal all their secret information to you and more importantly, each other. Their inner type can only be revealed by coming out to a friend. Luckily, another couple is moving into East Papal right now. Once they've met each other, they'll become acquaintances. Okay, this is interesting. So, Bartholomew and Penelope have just moved in up the road. I'm like totes excited to meet them. So, couples are going to be friends. Oh, what was this? My wife, Julia, suggested we dance naked at home. I love a bit of spicy action. Okay, let's just have a little look at this new new utilities. Oh yes, that was the recruitment centre. So, they can become friends. This is cool. I, oh, oh, catch that. I have no idea how that is going to work, but I am pretty excited to see that. But I'm going to end this episode now. I'm excited that we've now got two couples to see where this is. Oh, look, Bartholomew was just saying, I miss the gentle touch of my girlfriend Penelope, if only we could make some time for intimacy. Oh, poor Bartholomew. We'll have to sort that out in the next episode. But thank you so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys soon for a new video. Bye.